Hi, I'm Paul Garcia, second grade teacher. And I'm Shannon Langston, fifth grade teacher. Today we're talking about the two books of the week. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. And The Witches by Roald Dahl. The book that I read is The Witches by Roald Dahl. It's a classic dark fantasy perfect for the Halloween season. In the book, we're introduced to an orphan boy who discovers that witches live among people disguised as women. So Room on the Broom is uh, is about a witch riding along. And in the course of her riding along, she loses some important items. And with the help of some new friends, she's able to find them. And these new friends help her when uh, she's in need in a battle with a terrible dragon. One activity I would do in my classroom is choral reading. Uh, choral reading allows for all the children and the teacher to read together. And uh, what I would do is I would add an element uh, called close reading, C-L-O-Z-E, where I would leave certain blanks and the students would fill in uh, the words. And since the, the book Room on the Broom has, is a poem, that there are a lot of sections where the text has rhyming words. So I would pause and let the children fill in the rhymes. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that idea. I know when I taught primary, um, my students loved doing the closed readings and the choral readings. There is a spot in my book, The Witches, where the witches recite a spell together that would be great for my fifth graders to practice choral reading. But one activity that I would do kind of goes with word study too, where you're working with rhyming words is in the witches, there is a ton of figurative language. Dahl uses such vivid descriptive language. And I would have my students kind of go on like a word hunt and look for similes and metaphors and things like that. Like one of my favorite metaphors in the book is my blood turned to ice. And so I would have my students kind of continue word study, but we're now looking at figurative language. So in The Witches, the author uses such vivid descriptive language that it is great to work on visualization skills. So I would have my students do a lot of sketching as I'm reading aloud the book. And then I would have them use their sketches to lead into some character analysis. Like, let's analyze um, the Grand High Witch. And I would have my students kind of analyze the witch in Room in the Broom and the witch in The Witches. Are witches perceived in different ways depending on the book? Absolutely. And, you know, I think we underestimate, uh, you know, that about older kids that they are not interested in picture books. But oh. they, like you said, you made the point they love them. They love them. And you could teach a lot through picture books. I, I've noticed like even in um, in Room on the Broom, there are sections where the illustrations um, show, give a clue to the next animal that will help the witch. Oh. And it's really subtle, but if you had the kids look, they can then predict, oh, what's who's going to be her next helper? And it's a way of working on that. But the skill of predicting what's coming next is an important comprehension skill. Yes. And if you can do it through illustrations, you then can hopefully transfer it into uh, when you're reading the text. And, that, and, you're, and you're helping the kids visualize through the text. Some of the vocabulary the author uses are words like ginger to describe the witch's hair, the word clambered on the broom, uh, the word cauldron itself the word keen like these are words that uh second graders would not normally use yet by putting them in a story uh, with characters and images that are very familiar with them the students then are able to add these important words to their own vocabulary i would actually use my book the witches um to work on various vocabulary as well we would probably keep a like almost a you know a, a word um, a word bank of unfamiliar words, and we would complete several different activities doing some research on those words. I would actually love to like connect with the second grade teacher using room on the broom and have my students, you know, almost teach the second graders about the vocabulary words that you feel would be appropriate for your students to um, study and become part of their everyday vocabulary. It would be a terrific idea, like create, an, create a uh, 
create a bulletin board of a of a cauldron with witch vocabulary. Oh, and uh, I love it. And you have, you know, which I'm sure throughout the witches and in Room on the Broom, there are there are common words, that even would be though fantastic. the depictions, yeah, yeah, the oh, depictions such of a witches. Great idea. These are two engaging titles that span multiple grade levels. There are so many fun ways you can use these books with kids. So whether it's Room on the Broom, or the witches, or both, be sure to add them to your classroom or home library.